2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 17 For our light affliction which is but for a moment worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of great millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith of God so people here for a bit. For our light affliction, the scripture said this is light affliction. Everything that we're going through right about now, man, everything. From the illnesses, you know, the body ailments, the day-to-day -day hustle and bustle, the letdowns, the sufferings, the pain, the headaches, the torture, the hell. Light affliction is but for a moment being persecuted. Being ridiculed, being mocked at, being scoffed at, being defamed, being deprived. Light affliction. Light affliction. That's what the scriptures just told me. It's light affliction. We don't catch a hand throughout my every day to day. From society, from family members, whoever. These heathens, the scriptures say it's light affliction, man. Second Corinthians. Chapter 4, verse 17. For our light affliction, and, and it might not seem like it because we in that flesh. It don't seem like light affliction all the time. But look, the Heavenly Father, look, this is a red letter. This Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who are you going to call Jesus, man? Said for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, man, it ain't going to last forever. Everything we're going through right about now, it's not going to last forever. That's why the things that are written the fourth time are written for our learning that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, see that's that faith right there. To believe in things that you don't see. You know? To believe in things that you don't see. That's faith, right? Why we look not at the things which are seen? Because our people believe in the things which which are seen, which is a, which is a lack of faith, right? But at the things which are not seen, aka faith, to believe in something that you don't see, that's faith. The kingdom of heaven being established on the face of the earth, the Lord coming back, ruling the earth in righteousness, us being let go from this devil's clutches. Those are things that you don't see. We believe in the things that you don't see, man. Right? Well, we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. You got our people fighting over money, cars, clothes, homes, fame, fortune. Killing themselves with boats with jury. Those are the things which are seen. The scriptures say those things are temporal. Okay? But the things which are not seen are eternal. The things that we're fighting for that are not seen are eternal, man. Like the kingdom of heaven, which will be played out on earth. That's eternal. New bodies, eternal freedom, eternal seeing our Lord and Savior, eternal. That's the thing that we're fighting for. So, 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 so we're gonna suffer. So, we're gonna suffer. Look, this light affliction, look, which is but for a month. That, that's a scripture that gives you hope right there. I'm, I, I gotta bring out that Romans right quick. That's a scripture right there. My, that just built up my faith right there, hearing that scripture right there, man. We, look, we start to look, and before it's all said and done, we're gonna catch more hell than what we're catching now. We're gonna catch more hell than what we're catching now before it's all said and done. 
But, but listen up though Romans chapter 15 verse 4 For whatsoever things Were written aforetime Were written for our learning That we Through patience and comfort of the scriptures Might have hope So that 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 17 That scripture gave me hope You know It gave me courage To keep pushing on because this is light affliction and it's but for a moment, Israel. Did you not hear what the scriptures say? Yeah, you catch a hell each and every day. Some of you are jobless. Some of you are homeless. All, all the above. Get, get your pure hell. All kind of body ailments. You know, all kind of pains and aches. Well, look, your how about she now was shot? Say, look, that's light affliction. And that scripture right there was written for our learning that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope, man. This world don't give you hope. This world don't offer you any hope. The scriptures do, though. The scriptures offer us hope, man. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. That we are the children of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai Yasha Allah. Do you not know the world was made for our sake? Can you can you dig in Israel? This earth was made for our sake, man. And when we went off, we really messed up, man. That's why we in the predicament that we in there, cause we messed up, man. We went against our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Now we know exactly how it feels. We know exactly how it feels to go against your power and the end results of it, man. As you catch your hell, but the water Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. But all this is but for a moment, though. Romans chapter 8, verse 16 The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Israel. The Lord said, look, look, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, man. The Israelites are catching pure hell on the face of the earth. That these other nations, there's another tall tale sign of who the Hebrew Israelites are. Because they're catching the most hell out of any nation on the face of the earth, man. But I also read that it's but for a moment, you nations better remember. Everything that you're doing for us, to us right about now is but for a moment. Remember that. And if children then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer that light affliction, right? Suffer that light affliction, right? When the going get tough, the tough get going, right? If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. That's why you pray for more strength. You pray for more faith. You pray for more endurance, man. You pray for more guidance. To make it through this hell that we're going through right about now. Right? If so, be that we suffer. You want to be joint heirs with Lord Yahweh Shai, who the enemy called Jesus? Then look, then we must suffer, man. If so, be that we suffer with him. Then we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time catch all this hell and more hell to come, this lifetime, this present time. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared. This light affliction is not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us, man. The new bodies, the spiritual bodies. Look, you can't compare nothing that we're going through to what's coming, man. Because the Lord said, Look, the things that you see are look, look, are temporal. The things that you don't see are eternal. And that's what we're fighting for. We're fighting for things that's going to last for all eternity, man. All eternity. That's what we're fighting for. First Peter chapter 4 Verse 12 Beloved The house of David Think it not strange Concerning the fiery trials Something's gonna always be coming up man Every time you turn around Something's gonna be always happening man 
think it not strange though when these things come upon you all of a sudden think it not strange concerning the fiery trials you constantly being tried through the fire that gold that acceptable gold you know which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you but rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of your Howard shy suffering do we just read that in Romans if you suffer with them you shall reign and be glorified with them if you suffer right Rejoice that we're partakers in the afflictions and the sufferings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Lord Yahweh Shai. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Yahweh Shai's suffering. That when his glory shall be revealed, when the Lord come in those chariots with the multitude of angels in all his glory. Ye may be glad also with exceeding joy, man. With exceeding joy. When the Lord cracked those clouds, you know that's the end all, be it all. You know, when the Lord cracked those clouds, do you do you not know we will never ever suffer again? We will never suffer again, Israel. We will never when the Lord pop up on the scene, we will never suffer again. St. Matthew chapter 5 Verse 10 Blessed are they Which are persecuted For righteousness sake For theirs is the kingdom of heaven Blessed are those That are persecuted For righteousness sake Alright The Lord said Look when you come to serve him Prepare thy soul for temptation And whatever is brought upon thee Take cheerfully because gold is tried in the fire, fire and acceptable men in the furnace of affliction, man. The Lord, the Lord is purifying that gold, taking all the impurities off that gold. That's how you make gold more precious. You send it through the fire. You send it through the fire, Israel. We got to continue to fight. St. Matthew, fight that good fight of faith, right? Lay hold unto eternal life, right? St. Matthew chapter 24. Verse um, 13. But he that shall endure into the end, the same shall be saved. So it's all about enduring and look and making it through the affliction. And look, making it to the end. This is what it's about, Israel. Making it to the end. No matter what is brought upon you, shake cheerfully. This is what the scriptures say. I want to read this. 1 Peter chapter 4. First Peter chapter 4, verse 1. For as much then as Yahweh Shai have suffered for us in the flesh. Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. Our Lord and Savior had to suffer affliction. And it was, it was but for a moment. But you saw the end results. We read about the end results of Lord Yahweh Shai's suffering. He was glorified by the Heavenly Father, man. Right? He was given his reward. After he went through the suffering, the scripture say, all myself with the same like mine. Look, with service of, of Lord Yahweh Shai, right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? The Lord suffered, look, he was crowned. You want to be joy heirs? We must suffer, man. We must suffer. It is, it, look, it is what it is. It is what it is. Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. That he that have seen that he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin, man. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shine. The scriptures tell us to what? Make our bodies a living sacrifice. Acceptable, holy 
until you howl, but she now was shot. And, look, and the scripture came right back and said, This is but for a moment. Everything we're going through now is but for a moment. That's why we go we to constantly pray for more strength, pray for more endurance. Look, whatever you lack it, pray for it. James tell you that. The book, book of James tells all of us that. If we lack in anything, pray for more prayer. Pray for whatever you lack in. Say Mark chapter 14. Verse 38. Watch ye and pray. Lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit is truly, the spirit truly is ready. But the flesh is weak. That's why we got to constantly pray to you. How about Shinyar Shai? But remember, this one thing, Israel, that this is light affliction. It might not seem like it, but look, the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Shemuel Shalom, you know what they said? They said it's light affliction. So I'm going to take their word. Hebrews chapter 10, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. For Yahweh by Shemuel Shalom is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Which you have showed towards his name. And you know we coming in the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. In that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. We show enough out there serving our people with this word, because that's what the word minister means. It means to serve. We serving our people with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. And Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai said he ain't going to forget that. He ain't gonna forget our work and labor of love. You think they don't see us suffering in the flesh? They don't see us catching. You think they don't see us catching pure hell? Light affliction is real, but for a moment, shallow one. 